Hey, it's Pupmeister, and welcome to another episode. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Today, I am flying around the wilds, as you can see, and I am reflecting on all the people who get lost. When you die and you get stuck back at your spawn or wherever, People don't know where to go. And we have one of our most popular videos, Top 5 Ways to Find Your Way Back Home If You're Lost. But I'm thinking, you know, why, why always help after the fact? Why not do a preemptive strike and set something up where if you die, you'll automatically find your way back to your base just like here now if you happen to be one of these people who are presently lost and looking for a way to get back to your base well this is not the video for you you want to click on the link at the top right the top five ways to get back to your base when you are lost. This video is to prevent this from ever happening again. So if you're looking for a fun project, um, and I know, you know, you should write down your chords, absolutely, but we can lose them. We can delete them by accident. Um, so why not put something in place where if you die and you've been exploring and you've been breaking your beds, why not put something in place where you will automatically get back to your base? Because let's face it, everybody gets lost at some point. Let's prepare for it ahead of time. Okay, so let's get prepared for our little adventure and how to set up our world so that you will automatically find your way back when you die. So obviously one of the things we're going to have to do is die <laughs> because we want to go back to our spawn point. And... To be honest, it's been so long since I was at the spawn point, I really am not sure where the heck um, it is. So I'm going to bring my maps just so I can mark it, but this is not something that you need to do um, for what we're about to do. I just kind of want it on my map so I know where my spawn point was. But since we're going to die, you want to check your experience levels. I have 23. So if there's anything that you want to enchant um, or use those experience levels for, now is the time to do it because we're going to die shortly. So use up any experience levels that you don't want to lose, okay? Um, number two is you probably want to get rid of and put away any of your armor because we're going to lose that as well. So let's put that somewhere where it's going to be safe and we're not going to lose it. And same goes for all this other stuff. So I've changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to put it all in this corner pocket here um, that has nothing in it. So I can keep everything together. Um, I think we're going we're gonna to lose everything, really. So why don't we just put absolutely everything in here? We're probably going to need our bed. Um, because we're going to want to sleep somewhere and then break our bed so we appear back at the spawn point. The other thing you're going to want to do, if you haven't already, is write down the coordinates 
of your base so you know when you die how to get back here um, one other thing you might want to do if because this is this is going to be um, my main way of doing it but I'm going to go over so many different methods and ideas for you uh, later in this video so um, but you might want to also if you have a portal near your base find out where the cords are inside the nether as well okay so let's go back out all right so now that we have the coordinates for our base and I'm going to, I'm at this point, I'm not actually going to bring the maps because I'm going to lose them all, right? So I'll do that at a later time. Um, but now all we have to do is explore. And then when it gets nightfall, break the bed or, well, sleep in the bed, then break the bed and then <laughs> basically kill ourselves. <laughs> And I'm not quite sure, um, like I said, where I'm going to appear because I haven't been back at spawn forever. So I'm just going to wait for the sun to go down and then we'll go sleep somewhere and we'll continue at that point. Okay, so here we are. We're ready. I did a little bit of enchanting just to bring my levels down a little bit, but we can place our bed and what we'll basically do um, is sleep here. You can sleep anywhere. It doesn't matter. I can sleep right here um, in the village. And when we do sleep, this will be our respawn point. And now that we've broken it, we have no respawn point. So I might as well bring my bed back here too so this is a this is a good reason to do it this way like near your base so that you can put everything back and as you can tell I have absolutely nothing now so I am ready to die <laughs> so let's find a way to die how should we die should we drown should we go into lava oh we could get blown up by a creeper there's a way to die. Okay, I'm bringing him away so that we can die right here. There we go. <laughs> so, I am dead. So, let's respawn. And here we are at spawn point. I don't know where the heck I am, to be honest. Um, so, let's begin... So we know where our spawn point is. Let's write down the coordinates of where our spawn point is. Okay. So spawn point is minus 56 and 145. And at this point, you know, the height doesn't really matter. 67. So let's... Um, so yeah, I actually, I'm quite a long way from my base. Um, my base is minus 575 and I'm at minus 56. So that's over 500 blocks away in that direction. And it's 1,105 versus 145. So almost a thousand blocks away. Um, in my Z direction. So yeah, I am like a long, long way away. This is what we're going to do as a project. We want to link our spawn point to our base so that we can automatically find our way back when we die and we spawn in the middle of nowhere. Because 
if that's going to happen, why not be prepared, right? And have it set. So my main way to do it, I believe, is going to be another portal. I'm going to build another portal here. Now that we have the coordinates, we can go back to our base, we can get all of our equipment, we can get everything we need, and we can start connecting the two. So um, when you appear with absolutely nothing, you want to make sure the path back to your base is somewhat secure and safe because you don't want to be battling all kinds of mobs when you have no armor, no weapons, or anything, right? So if you are early in the game and you don't have anything yet, one thing you can do, the most basic, easy thing to do, is put a sign right where you respawn. So let's say right here, let's put a sign here. And what's the sign going to have? The coordinates to your base so that you can find your way back to your base with the coordinates on a sign right where you respawn. So that is the most basic uh, way to find your way back when you die and you go to your respawn point is just put a sign down with your coordinates. And when we get all our stuff and we get back here, I'll go through all the other ideas and concepts to get you back to your base as safe as possible. So I'm going to go back to my base. I'm going to get all my stuff. I'm going to come back here and then we will continue. Okay, so I made it back and I just want to point out that if you are a long distance from your base, you're going to have to prepare for certain things. Um, if you're sprinting all the way, which pretty much I was because, you know, you want to get back as quickly as possible, your food supply is going to go down the tubes and you've got nothing. So um, luckily I came by a stream and there were a lot of fish and I just punched them because I have no weapons. <laughs> and for every fish you eat, it goes up one food bar again. Because I'm not cooking them. I'm just eating them raw. I just want to get back as quickly as possible. Um, if possible, before it gets dark. So you don't have to worry about mobs. Which, unfortunately, I had to start worrying about. And you just have to do your best to maybe stick to rivers where mobs won't get you as easily. Um, obviously, you're going to have to run through fields and stuff like that. Just give mobs a wide berth um, so that you don't, don't interact with them at all. Just keep running past them. Make sure you have enough food to keep sprinting and you will get back to your base. As you can tell... I still have nothing. I do have one experience point <laughs> from killing the fish, I guess. Um, but let's get resuited and we'll meet you back at the spawn point. So we are back at spawn and we are fully loaded with all of our stuff. So the direction we want to go with this all depends on a number of things. The first one being how far away is your home base. Um, also things like oceans and stuff like that. Is your home base across a large body of water? Um, you know, you might want to tunnel underneath to keep it safe. If it's a medium distance, you know, you might want to use something like tracks, like a railway. And again, you could do that by tunneling. Because if you have it up here and it turns nightfall, things can still attack you. It may not be as dangerous when you're speeding through a train, but, you know, a creeper could be standing on the tracks, right? For all you know. Um, I already mentioned, you know, you can just put a sign here with your cords as well. Um, if your base is like right around the corner, 
then you probably don't even need this, but you could always just, you know, make a trail as well, you know, like a walking trail so that you know exactly the best route to get there as quickly as possible. And of course, you could put a chest down here and have it full of a new set of armor and a sword and all that kind of stuff so so that you don't have nothing on your way back. You know, you can put food in it. All the basic necessities to get you back to your base without the hardship, <laughs> so to speak, um, like I had to do um, at the beginning here. But once you know this, you can prepare it all you want, you know, and I, I do. That's a great idea. Put a chest down just so you're not completely helpless on your way back to your base. So since I am a fair distance away, um, you know, like 1,000 blocks in one direction and about 500 blocks in another direction, the fastest and easiest way for me, I think, to get back is to create another portal so that's what i'm gonna do and i think i just have it in here so i'll just grab what i need and this is how i make another portal i don't like using the um the corners because it just i don't know it wastes obsidian <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you have a ton of it and you don't really care, then, you know, go at it. So here we go. So we're going to light it. So if we ever die, we'll get placed back here and we'll have this lovely portal that is going to bring us right back to our home base. So let's take a look at what the coordinates will be here. Hopefully there's nothing too dangerous around. You know what? It came out. Look at this. In my particular case, talk about lucking out. Like it's right by one of my paths already. So I literally come out here and I just have to get on this path and go back. Now the only thing in my case here is I have to figure out which way is which. And I think this is the way back to my home base. I could be wrong. I might be going further away, but I think I'm going back. I do see... Yep. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> back home. So, I do understand... <laughs> <laughs> that you're not going to have this luck. But you basically just have to tunnel and make it through and make it safe like this. If it's, you know, this is a little out in the open here. Um, of course, you could always build walls and stuff. Um, so things like ghasts and the nasty strong pigmen and stuff don't come at you. So there, okay, well, that was so much easier than I ever thought it would be in like a thousand years. But you basically just have to tunnel and make it back. And I'm just going to grab this little guy right here. And, of course, you can always light up the area as well. So that when you do respawn here, it's fairly light. And you won't get a lot of mobs coming at you all of a sudden. And let's just light up this side a little bit. I see a zombie back there. And just throwing some torches around as well will help protect you just in case uh, it's nighttime and you have to deal with somebody like that. But so the other way, of course, is you can build a tunnel 
and put down a bunch of tracks and use a train to get you back if you know you're only a few hundred blocks away or something like that or even longer i mean i think the longest railway i made was over 3000 blocks or something and if you make it long enough believe it or not there's actually an achievement you can get for doing that so have at it if that's the way you want to do it and of course you can always make an ice highway as well um, if you've got a bunch of ice around you know I do with that huge uh, snow ice area I've got near my hometown but um, you know with a boat and a single block of ice you can zip back to your house quite quickly so there's so many different ways to go about this but the point being next time you die and you just plop back right here you're immediately going to have some supplies and that'll just you know help the process all the more so I just want to go over a few last minute things. Uh, everything is now labeled. So when I'm going by here, I know this is my spawn point. If I come out of here, I know this the home base is that way. Um, but there is a few things I want to show you on the other side here before we come to an end. Uh, labeled this as home base. And I put my cords here as well, just to kind of show you. You can put your cords on the sign and I do have a little chest here and it doesn't have to be great I'm just you know some used armor now in my particular case I have to have soul speed on my boots because I use the soul soul sand and soul soil as you saw um, to travel much faster in the nether so if I just had normal boots and I was trying to get back home it would be really slow. So I had to make sure I had soul speed on my boots. Of course, uh, just a sword, some food. This is really the basics that you need to get back home. And it doesn't have to be anything great because it's just meant to be enough to get you back home. Now I did say I did want to put this on my map and I have to figure out which map I'm on. Am I like right on the edge of a map? Like these are two different. Look at that. I'm not on either map. It's it's like I'm right on the border. See if I show up anywhere here. Isn't that weird? Hmm. What if I go in this direction? There I am. All right, so wow, crazy enough, I am literally right on the border of a map. So I'm going to go as close as I go. Oh, there, I disappear there. So let's put it right here. I'm going to put the, the yellow banner because as you know, um, I use yellow banners to show that there is a portal there. And we'll just right click and there we will have spawn. And at least, I mean, I can't put it right here because I'll be in the middle of two maps, which is the most bizarre thing. But I guess that's how the spawn is. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some great ideas and once you set this up, if you ever die again, 
you're never ever going to have to worry about where your base is because you are all set to go and it's immediately linked and you'll never have that problem again. So let's hope this helps prevent you needing uh, our other video of the five top ways to find your way home if you're lost because it's better not to be lost at all, right? So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye for now.